Was there someone new she's been spending a lot of time with, maybe? Not that I know of. Elise wouldn't leave and not say anything to me. We did everything together. I would know if she's talking to a new guy. I mean, like I said, she's a really good student. God, she was spending all of her time on some application for some newspaper. I mean, if she wasn't with me, she was at work or the library. Elise just wouldn't leave and not say anything to me, okay? She's a journalism student, right? Yeah. Could she have been working on a new story that got her mixed up with the wrong people? I don't know. I don't know what she was writing about. Um, you could ask her, uh, her professor, uh, Professor Stevenson. You boys, you are so sweet. I'm gonna go check the casserole and I will be back. Oh, okay. Yes. Give me up now, baby man. Oh, baby man, wow. Big comeback for a man who pissed the bed until he was 11. Boys, do y'all want some coffee? We're all good, thanks. Okay, what do you want? Mmm, I want you to shut your stupid mouth about me having the boys over last weekend. Oh, you want that, do you? What's in it for me, you idiot? Mm, I don't know, your kneecaps? What, you're gonna surgically remove my kneecaps if I tell mom that you and your idiot friends trashed the house last week? And that the reason her fancy towels went missing is because Eric puked all over them? No, dumbass. I'm not gonna remove them surgically. I'm gonna rip them out with my bare hands and feed them to you. Bull! You can't touch me. Fine. If you open your rat-faced mouth and say anything to mom, I'm gonna tell her you haven't been spending Sundays with grandma like you've been telling her. Truce? Truce. How do you know Elise Porter? She's my student. And did you have a close relationship with Miss Porter? Mm, no more so than any other students, I suppose. She um, seems like a very nice girl, is what I know. So you didn't give any additional attention to Miss Porter? You treated her the same as you would anyone else? Anyone else? <laughs> no. She's much smarter and a much better writer than any other students in the class. I would give her the same treatment I would any student of her caliber. So I'm supposing Beth Holloman and Janice Anthony were equally as smart and gifted then. I beg your pardon. Beth and Janice, previous two students that filed a complaint at the university that you wanted to give them special attention. Is that how they qualified to get this hands-on time with you? My relationships with these women has absolutely no relevance to this matter. Miss Holman came along early on in my professional career. And as a young professor, yes, I did step over the line. But for you to insinuate that Miss Anthony- I'm not insinuating, I'm quoting. Both women reported you to the school, as did Miss Porter. Miss Porter reported you to the school, and she's missing. Interesting, isn't it? You know, I don't know what kind of a witch hunt you're on here but I will not sit here and be spoken to as if I had something to do with her disappearance. I want my lawyer. I bet you do. Another, yeah, please. Are you sure you wanna do that? I'm sure it's fine this early on. Still. Jake, seriously, relax. We just found out about this this morning. I don't wanna have a whole conversation right now. We're gonna have to talk about it at some point, Em. Yeah, it's a big conversation, but it's important, so let's just do it. What do you want me to say? I feel like I'm the bad guy in this situation because I'm the one that doesn't... I just... You're basically asking me if I'm ready to settle down with you and have a family right now. You make it sound like such a bad thing. 
We've been together for almost three years now, Em. I feel like it's a pretty reasonable question at this point, don't you? Yeah, this sped things up a little bit. A little bit? Jake, I love you, but this isn't a little speed bump, okay? This is a whole big baby bump. Are you really ready to just give up your youth? Give up? We're talking about having a baby, not marching to our deaths. Is it really that bad? Is starting a family with me really ruining your life? I don't know. I'm sorry. Okay, doki kiddos. Let's get down and dirty and talk about your down and dirties. Not, not that your bodies are dirty. That's not what I meant. I'd say we were talking about the birds and the bees, but two species having in intercourse? Um, <laughs> that's ridiculous, right? <sighs> Look, you guys are gonna, you're gonna get a lot of um, feelings, you know, that are really hard to uh, deal with and I would just you know recommend that you um, take care you know, take care of it yourselves I mean, that way no one gets STIs which could kill you and no one gets knocked up everybody wins <laughs>